And if the white dwarf is already near a different kind of threshold in mass, a threshold first calculated by the, the brilliant Indian astrophysicist Subrahmanyan Chandrasekhar, he noted that if you have a white dwarf that's near a limit, what limit is that? About 1.4 times the mass of the sun. And you drop some more material on it? Oh, it's no longer just let's explode the outer surface. The entire star, white dwarf, goes unstable. And it collapses and becomes a super no. So why can adding something as small as a planet's worth of mass to a dead star cause it to annihilate itself in a single flash? A white dwarf, roughly the size of Earth, can quietly hold more mass than the sun. Yet, if you push it just a bit too far, every atom inside suddenly loses the contest against gravity. That too far is not vague. It is a sharply defined limit. And limits like that do not only decide the fate of white dwarfs. They set whether a collapsing star becomes a neutron star, a black hole, or tears itself apart in a supernova, and they exist for deep physical reasons, not cosmic drama. The basic idea underneath all of this is simple. Balance. Any star is a tug of war between gravity